A currency system should only ever be a tool um, in any context, I think. Uh, there's if, Focusing on the currency for the sake as the end itself, I think, is a sickness. And it's the sickness that, you know, of capitalism and it's, 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 I think it's not the appropriate goal. Currency should be a tool for humans to do what they need or want to do um, in every context. My name is Stephanie Rierich and I'm with Dane County Time Bank in, in Madison, Wisconsin, United States. And uh, also Time for the World, which is a project of that Time Bank um, are arising out of it to help communicate what works for us, what doesn't, how we might connect with other initiatives and learning from around the world and really do better. Um, and my background is I um, have been active in social and environmental justice for a long time. I used to work for Greenpeace as a young adult and, uh, have, and then went on to um, be a co-owner of a small business, a local coffee house, and then I also do music. And I realized at a certain point that all of those things um, are difficult to make a good living at, even though there's, the community seems to value them. Um, and I realized that that's why I had to get involved in economic issues. Not because I enjoy economics or money, because I don't enjoy <laughs> economics and money as they currently happen. So the Dane County Time Bank has been around since 2005, um, and we view it as a way to pool the time and talents of people in our community um, and use those not only to help each other and give each other a better quality of life, but also to create the kinds of community projects that we want to conduct. So for example, um, after one year of having uh, establishing the Time Bank, we established a restorative justice youth court to keep kids out of the formal criminal justice system and put the responsibility for helping them succeed back onto the neighbors and really help build the community capacity to support the kids. And that's been very effective. We're now operating in all four high schools in Madison um, and really reducing the number of kids who get sent into the formal system. Um, and then we also have a wellness project and a gardening project and a project to help people save energy. And we're working toward um, being able to assemble and install solar panels and solar water heaters. So we really see it as a way that we can do real asset-based community development, make visible the real value that exists already, and then work together with a collaborative tool to help create even more value together. Um, at this point, we have over 2,000 members. We have about 170 organizations that participate. Um, but for us, that's just this scratching the surface of the potential. Um, we have 500,000 people in our county who could participate. And so we're looking to shift how we approach it and how we structure ourselves to really be able to have it flourish as much as we believe that it can. There are some studies, and they're too, they're too limited. Um, and so that's part of what we need to do is create ways for people to evaluate, collect, and share their own data. And also to make it feel safer to people to take risks and expose our flaws and expose our failures because those need to become nutrients for the next thing that arises that becomes better or new ways to do things. Um, but there are, there are um, some studies about the social and health impacts that are very positive. Um, and they tend to be studied in small communities because that's who tends to, to work with these things. Um, for us, we show a redu we've reduced uh, tickets going to the formal justice system from 160 um, to under 40 a year in the first school that we started operating in. So we keep track of those kinds of outcomes. And, but that's, that's work for the future is to really, I mean for the near future, yeah. is to really build those tools and distribute them to different initiatives and help people to, to use them and to share them. And then we can use that to guide how we support each other. So it just really depends on the goals. And, I have a lot of reluctance to lump community currencies together. I, I wouldn't say I'm overall a supporter of community currencies. There's some that I really don't support, and there's some that, you know, I think it's good that people want to do something, but I wish they would do something that I see as more effective. And for me, that is one reason to really push out the evaluation and the data and understand the outcomes that we're seeking. So when people who know that there's a problem that they want to solve have access to really all the information about the appropriate tool for that problem. 
I, I attempted um, with a different model of local currency to solve the problems that we're able to get at much more effectively with time banking. The, the other local currency that we started has a place. It's just a different place than that. And I wish I had known at that time because I think it's healthy. I, my personal perspective is that time banking is a great way to sort of prepare the ground to plant some other things that might be a little bit more complex. Um, because it does strip away all the extras. It strips it down to people, assets, and needs, mm -hmm. and just exchanging you know, among each other. And I, th I feel that that really sets a healthy framework for people that they don't get in until they experience it. I really enjoy mutual credits. Yeah. Um, yes, I think that it makes sense. I, I, when I first learned about it, I had a bit of a head slapping moment like how can we not have been doing this all along now I've learned that we were doing it all along really I believe that I recently read a book called debt the first 5,000 years by David Graeber um, where he makes the case that mutual credit is the way that communities have interacted throughout most of human history and that's actually just been sort of stomped on by a very recent experiment in a different way of monopolizing money and labor and, and time What I would really like to see is that you could have an identity in, you know, in your community or a profile online that you can connect in with whatever networks you want to. So it might be my local geographic network. I might at the same time be connected with a global travel and culture exchange network because I'm a touring musician. So that would really benefit me. I might also be connected with the network the, of, of us as practitioners doing these kinds of systems, supporting each other. Um, and I think that networks layered over networks that maintain some uh, autonomy is more resilient mm -hmm. and I could be diversity. healthier, yes, and, and promotes a diversity. I don't actually desire to go in a direction where everyone's using the same system. No. I think that that's, um, it's, it's vulnerable and, yeah. and people aren't like that anyway. I mean, we can't get people to agree on, on a platform anywhere, and that's fine. But, but that discussion is going on. Right. Mm -hmm. Between the time bands, then that, that, that should be one yeah. big overall. Uh, it's going on among the people who want that to happen, and then all the people who don't want that, or the people who want that to happen only if everyone jumps on their software, means that I don't really see that it's going to happen anytime soon. And again, I just don't think it's desirable. I think we can make ways to interface between projects. So what, what, and then the other thing that I think is important, and we're going to try this out, is we're going to restructure how we operate in some way, some ways that are as yet unformed, but we have ideas. One is getting out of the nonprofit industrial complex because I feel that that just drives things the wrong direction like everything else. Um, and it's, it's an old structure and we need to do things new ways. So we're looking at cooperative structures that would treat, that would employ some um, principles of governance of the commons and co-production principles, meaning we work hand in hand to produce the desired outcomes together, um, and some principles based on things like sociocracy or, d or different ways to really engage people in taking leadership. Um, so what our desire is to try out this kind of structure and then have time banking and price-based mutual credit so you can have that in businesses and, and have it be taxable. Um, and then also cooperative saving and lending and, and community investments mm -hmm. model. So the th those three tools, I think, each kind of help fill the gaps of each other um, and help fill some needed functions. And I, I'm, we're going to uh, explore using this kind of structure to create a different kind of engine that helps people do the kind of work that they would like to do, do a greater variety of work, do the things they dream of doing, and also have varied kinds of compensation that, that can help them live the kind of life they want to live. So that's the goal for me.